And welcome everybody to Malibu, California for tonight's West Coast Conference contest between the Pepperdine Ways, five and eight overall, one and three in WCC play, taking on the Gonzaga Bulldogs receiving votes in the latest top 25 poll. They are undefeated in the conference at five and oh, sitting tied for first and 14 and four overall. And inside Firestone Fieldhouse, everybody, thanks for joining us. I'm Darren Preston. Well, a different kind of a test tonight. Gonzaga, a team that's been to the last four NC2A tournaments, they are the reigning champions in the West Coast Conference, and they've been to the big dance nine times. Very good basketball team. Pepperdine, meanwhile, trying to ride some momentum from an incredible fourth quarter on Tuesday night when they outscored Loyola Marymount 24-11 to in the last 10 minutes and got the final six points of the game to take their first conference win. Let's take a look at our players to watch tonight. For Pepperdine, it is the 6'1 freshman forward, number 13, Mayali Amosa, at a modern-day high school. She has been incredible of late. Solid games back-to-back -back times. Remember that 9.10 uh, uh, rebound game up at Pacific? Well, she bettered that against LMU with career highs of 14 points, 11 rebounds, and three block shots. And what's more than that, she was on the court 31 minutes uh, in the absence of Pepperdine's top two scores, just doing a great job on both ends of the floor. Very important to have her out there playing very well. Had uh, 31 minutes of court time and stayed out of foul trouble in the win over LMU. For the Zags, how about number 14, Kaylin Trong? Now, she has a twin sister on the team, Kaylee, number 11. Kaylin, where's number 14? And both players actually average 11 points a game. However, Kaylin is really the floor general. 65 assists on the year. That leads the team. And she's a big reason why Kaylin is. The Zags are so successful. One reason is because they love to live at the free throw line. They are one of the nation's best free throw shooting teams. Uh, top 20 at 78%. Kaylin herself has made 42 of 46 on the year. That's 91%. Very good floor general and plays very good basketball on both ends of the court as well. Third year head coach for Pepperdine is Kristen Dowling. And uh, Lisa Fortier is in her eighth year at the helm of Gonzaga. And of course, the last four NC2A tournaments. Starting five on the other side. Gonzaga visiting Pepperdine in the West Coast Conference tonight on Wavecast and the WCC Network. And once again, good evening, everyone. Firestone Fieldhouse, game two in this seven-day span, four-game homestand. And it's a tall order tonight. Gonzaga sitting atop the conference at 5-0 and with BYU. And Pepperdine, again, looking to carry it over that momentum. What a terrific fourth quarter it was on Tuesday night. 24-11, outscoring LMU en route to the win. First conference win. The opening tip controlled by the Waves, and Amosa get it off to Cheyenne Givens. Givens, Amosa, Jane Waba getting a start tonight, Helena Friend, and Becky Obima. It should be noted that everybody is available tonight for the Waves, and yes, that includes the top two scores for Pepperdine, Malia Bambrick, and Ali Stedman. Waves have it. Waba puts on the brakes, kick it out. Three-pointer Givens comes up well short, tipped out. And taken away by the Zags. Oliver Jogi, number one. Abby O'Connor getting a start. 
up front, Kaylee Trong in the backcourt. Her sister, her twin sister, very good as well. Sierra Walker, 5'8", fifth-year senior guard, and then Melody, Melody Campton up front, 6'1", senior. The Zags are starting four seniors tonight. This is Abby O'Connor through the lane, off the window and in. The Zags are getting votes again in the most recent top 25 national poll. They have four losses on the year, but two of them are to number two Stanford. A very good basketball team that's been to the big dance four years straight now. Jane Waba up top, Cheyenne Givens dribbles to her left. Zags have won the last nine meetings between these two teams, going back to the 16-17 year. Three-pointer by Friend is off the mark. And Gonzaga comes up with it. Front court, Abby O'Connor out on the far wing, goes up top. Dump it into Kempton off the window and throws it up over Friend. Four to nothing, Gonzaga. Gonzaga will be at San Diego on Saturday afternoon when Portland is here. And Portland has just knocked off San Diego tonight down at Jenny Craig Pavilion, 68 to 55. Right side, Cheyenne Givens. That puts Portland 3-2 and two in the conference and San Diego 2-3. and three. One bounce it in on the right angle to Amosa coming off her career game. In fact, back-to-back -back career games. Reverse layup. It's in there. However, wave it off. She walked with it. And we mentioned at the top of the show, Amosa playing not only getting her career game in terms of her stats, but playing 31 minutes on Tuesday night. Very important. Waves did a wonderful job staying out of foul trouble. Had no choice. Played without the top two scores. Short-handed. They're available tonight. Rujogi gets it out. Three-pointer and knocked in there by Kaylee Trong. First seven tonight for Gonzaga. And obviously, not the kind of start you need against this kind of a basketball team. Becky Obima. And it out to Amosa. Whip it left. Reversal to Givens. Looking to lob it in and saving it or not. Not quite. Good effort there by Sierra Walker. It'll stay with the Waves with 7.18 to go in this opening frame. Pepperdine Women's Basketball would like to extend its thanks to Nike, the official outfitter of the team. Make sure you follow Wave Hoops on Twitter, Pepperdine WBB on Instagram, and Pepperdine Women's Basketball on Facebook for all the latest news and information on the team. Givens. Get it to the high post, back it up a few steps. Dangerous pass, Amosa loses her footing in the key and the Waves aren't gonna get a shot off. There were three navy blue jerseys right there. Not sure what Givens was looking at. Uh, defending Amosa down low. All right, so here is Allie Stedman. Missed her first career game against LMU. It played her first 12, in fact, started her first 12 sat out on Tuesday night and with her comes Malia Bambrick and those are their two leading scorers on the year for the Waves. Stedman averages 11.5, Bambrick at 9.5. Down low and throwing it off the window just out of the circle making it 9 to nothing. And for Jogi. Becky Obima, Omosa. This was only a nine-point game, by the way, on this floor last year. Waves were routed up in Spokane, and Cheyenne Gibbons puts the waves on the board as it takes nearly three minutes and 40 seconds tonight. Nine to two, Gonzaga. A little back door there to Trong. Put it up, no. Volleyball tipped out and taken away by Malia Bambrick. Drop it off for Cheyenne Gibbons, getting the start tonight at the point. Really like Kendall Carson on Tuesday night at the point. That really worked well, particularly in the fourth quarter. How about the waves on defense on Tuesday? LMU had no clue what to do with that trap defense. Obviously, you got a tougher task tonight if you're going to try that, and I don't think the waves are going to bother with that much tonight. Jayla Rufus Milner into the ball game. Baseline right, Bambrick inbounds. Little curl pattern, and Allie Stedman knocks it down, nine to four. Back-to-back -back baskets, and a nice block. Amosa gets all of it with Kempton going up. Waves looking to make it a 6-0 run. 
Givens. Get it out to Stedman. Stedman crossover. Drop it off baseline. Jayla to the hole. Put it up. No good. Ball tipped and taken away by Melody Kempton. Kempton was the sixth player of the year recipient in the West Coast Conference last year, all-conference honoree, and she just made one start last year. Kempton has been a regular in their starting lineup this year. In fact, all 19 starts on the year. Layup missed. Second layup missed. That by Yvonne Ejim in for the first time, and a hell ball there. Alternating possession hell ball. It'll stay on this end with the Zag. Yvonne Ejim, 6'1 sophomore out of Calgary, Alberta. Average of six rebounds a game, and is actually their leading shot blocker and stealer with 24 and 25 on the year, respectively. 9-4 Zags, baseline left. Trong inbounds, goes left side. Kaylee Trong for three, no good off the back of the iron. Tipped out, and Gonzaga will pick up a foul. Right around the free throw line, and that'll be on O'Connor. Her first and the first foul called on either side. 4.59 to go first quarter. Gonzaga nine, Pepperdine four on Wavecast and the WCC Network. Pepperdine basketball clearing some backcourt pressure. A runner there for Jayla, and she's got it in the key. Kendall Carson is in for Pepperdine. Couple of subs also in for Gonzaga. Number 24, Michaela Williams, local product, went to Windward High School in L.A. 6'1 sophomore guard, and the Trong sisters are playing together on the court. And an offensive foul called on the Zags. So the Waves on a little 6-0 run here after the Zags got off to a 9-0 start. 6-0 run over two minutes. Pepperdine three for six from the floor. Gonzaga four for 10. And Becky Obima also on the court now for Pepperdine. Kendall Carson at the point for the Waves. Let's see how this goes. Went very well on Tuesday night. First conference win of the year. Malia Bambrick, defended by Williams. A lot of Zag fans here. A couple of bounces, right side of the lane, and Jayla up with it. Going to be fouled by Melody Kempton. Should be two free throws for Jayla Rufus Miller. First on Kempton, and now three fouls on the Zags with 4 11 to play in the quarter. Kaylee Trong off the court, and Sierra Walker back on. The Zags are yet to shoot a free throw nearly six minutes in. Zags go to the line a lot. In fact, they're one of the best teams in the country at 78%, top 20, best in the conference. Pepperdine, this is their first free throw of the night, and Jayla hits it, and now looking for an 8-0 run after the Zags had the 9-0 lead. Got it. Jayla hits two. Players are within one here in the first quarter. Front court, this is Kay Lynn. Strong, swing it out to the left for Sierra Walker. One bounce, stop at the left elbow. That's Michaela Williams, right side to Trong. Kay Lynn Trong popping out as Ejim at the high post, dumping into Kempton, around Obima, whistle, and a couple of free throws coming up. Boy, that was almost a very, very good defensive stance there by Obima. Against a tough Melody Kempton. 
Started out well, but then got the contact going towards the baseline. All right, this is one of the things Gonzaga does extremely well. They get to the foul line and they make them. And no problem with those two free throws. Kempton hits two. That breaks a three-minute drought thereabouts for the Zags. 11 to 8, Carson up front. It goes to Alley Stebbin. One bounce, right baseline, Obima. Ball deflected. you got to watch where you're throwing the ball, especially tonight, and that's case in point right there. Nothing but blue, navy blue uniforms. And there's a traveling violation, trying to drive the left side of the lane. He Jim walked with it. It'll go back to the waves. Three turnovers for Gonzaga and three for Pepperdine. And here's Stedman. Now you got double team. That's just too much panic there. Waves, Stedman here in the front court. Freshman gets to the Carson. Zone defense right now extended for Gonzaga up top. Jayla walked with it. Drag the back foot. Uncontested turnover again. Back to back possessions. Cheyenne Givens back on. Stedman will sit. Nice to have uh, Stedman and Bambrick, of course, back in action tonight. Bambrick had missed the last two games. Underneath, Ejen turns herself loose, and she's going to be foul going up. Nice rocket pass in there from Kaylin Trong. Jayla picks it up. One on Jayla, two on the Waves. Three minutes exactly to go in the first quarter. And back to the line go the Zags. Ejem, sophomore from Calgary, knocks down the first. Triple A flag and banner, proud supporter of Pepperdine Athletics. At uh, AAA, our passion is bringing your event graphics to life. From design and printing to installation and ongoing maintenance, we go the extra mile to make your vision a reality. Visit AAAflag.com. Zags are now 4 for 4 at the line, 13 to 8. Kendall Carson, as the waves break some pressure. 2 3 zone yet again, reverse it left to Malia Bambrick. Waves in the home white. One bounce, Malia Bambrick, launch a three. That's going to come up short. Long rebound out to Cheyenne Givens. Cut off by Williams, kick it out again. Carson, a long triple. That's not going to hit anything. Gonzaga will get it full court. Fourth quarter score in Provo, Utah tonight. BYU 61, Santa Clara 29. Ball poked away into the backcourt. It's going to be an over and back. Last touch by Williams. And the Waves will get it back down five. So safe to say that BYU is going to be 6-0 and after tonight. At the very minimum, tied for first. There's a turnover again by the Waves. Intercepted by Ejim. Get it up front. Front court. The Tron back to Ejim, one arm pass out to the right wing for Williams. For Jogi, swing it out to the left wing. It goes to Sierra Walker. Drop it off for Ejim, right side. Tron for three, no good. Tron's hit 33s on the year, misses that one. Foul underneath. And the Waves have caught the Zags and now in the foul department with three each. That one's on Givens. First on Givens. 13 to 8. This is going to bring on Kaylee Trong and Abby O'Connor. Williams will sit along with Kaylee's twin sister. Kaylin. And first foul shot is good. 14 to 8. Again, one of the many things that make this program so great the ability to get to the free throw line. And one of the best in the country in making them. Not that one on a river. And out of bounds, last touch Zags, who have the game's last five points and lead it 14 to 8. A little bit of more pressure put on. Gibbons clears it. 
Time for the Waves to get off eight now. They have missed the last two and a half minutes, three turnovers in the last two and a half minutes for the Waves. Carson down low, good entry to Abima, countered and one. Yeah, one of the things you gotta do well tonight to have a shot. Obima is gonna have to be a factor. I thought Jane Waba had to be big in a game like this. Waba got a start tonight. Obima had her career game two games ago at, at uh, Pacific with 15. Now number three on the other end of the court on defense and block shots with 14 on the air, third and best in the conference. And the three-point play is complete. And it's a three-point ball game, approaching 80 seconds to go in the first quarter. Glad you're with us. Beautiful day in Malibu. We're in the midst of a four-game homestand over seven days. This was an originally scheduled game. Game Tuesday was a makeup game. Saturday, originally scheduled. Monday night will also be here against St. Mary's in a makeup game as well. And a waves foul on Jayla, about 30 feet from the hoop. Two on Jayla, now each team with four in the final 66 seconds of the first quarter. And O'Connor will inbound down below. We are opposite the benches and elevated. Inbound down below us, and inbound it goes to Kaylee Trong. Melody Kempton back to Trong under a minute to go. Down low, Kempton over Obima, off the window too strong, but hit on the way up. Two more free throws coming up. The Zags did not take a free throw until about the four minute mark of this quarter. This is already gonna be their seventh and eight free throws in just over a three minute span. The Waves have now surpassed the Zags in the foul category. Zags had the first three fouls tonight. The Waves have picked up five of the game's last six. And this is exactly what Gonzaga thrives on, this kind of a game. Mimosa back on, waves down five and the ball, front court, Kendall Carson. Sophomore from Juneau, Alaska, centers it. 17 to shoot, 40 on the game clock, Mimosa whip it left on the reversal, back to Kendall Carson. Defended by Kaylee Trong, dump it mid post. Obima going to work, throw it up, miss it underneath. Ball volleyball, the Mosa, right place at the right time. Comes up with it, left side. Bambrick launch a triple, that's no good. And all the way out near perimeter, grabbing it is going to be Kaylee Trong. Shot clock on for the quarter. 15 seconds to go, Zags up five. Kaylee Trong going to her right, leading score on the Zags. Long two straight away, nail it, Melody Kempton. And that's how the first quarter will end. Ten minutes in the books, Gonzaga 18, Pepperdine 11. Stay right with us on Wavecast on the WCC Network.
Second quarter upcoming here at Firestone Fieldhouse. Gonzaga 18, Pepperdine 11. Zags were 5 for 12 in the first quarter, 42%. Pepperdine 4 for 11, 36%. Zags got off to a 9-0 lead. Waves came as close as 9-8. to eight. Gonzaga got some new life back half of that first quarter. Here we go. Left to right, Pepperdine. Obima from Waba out on the perimeter, and that's the last touch by Obima. Zags again stepping into that passing lane. They've done that several times already. Now the Waves, this is another turnover. They have six. Melody Kempton. Lob it left side, wide open. Now she's going to knock that down most of the time. Kaylin Trong, her 31st three of the year, second most on the Zags. 21 to 11, biggest lead now for Gonzaga. Crossover, Givens couldn't get it to go. Ball hung on the rim, it didn't fall. Good feet, couldn't finish. Gonzaga basketball up top, Kempton bring it out to the right. Goes to Abby O'Connor. Reverse it left side again. Basically uncontested. That's the twin sister, Kaylee Trong. The twins average about the same. 11 points a game, 11.3 versus 11 exactly. Onto the court for the Zags, Eliza Hollingsworth, 6'3", third year sophomore forward out of Melbourne, Australia. Ball deflected out. Gonzaga 23 to 11 with the game's last seven points. I don't know where the Tron sisters are at all times. Mosa to Givens. Six to shoot, Givens crossover, splits the defense to the hole. Nice move, nice play all around. Cheyenne Givens right to the hole. Job taking it to the basket. And Zags were defending there as well, and given the beat everybody, 15 footer straight away. That's good. Just actually, just inside the free throw line for Kaylin Trong, 25-13. Danger zone, absolute danger zone right now for Pepperine. You got to get this back to single digits before it goes the other way. It's already gone into double digits. Kendall Carson. Obima sets a high pick, crossover. Carson, Obima, give and go. Fumbles it away, taken away by Kaylee Tron. Back the other way. Waves do get back. Kaylin to Hollingsworth. O'Connor centers it. That was uh, Kaylee to Kaylin out on the left perimeter, and Givens swats it away. Givens the other way, two on two. Givens left side of the key, off the window, counted in one. Cheyenne Givens, that's a fantastic defensive play, leading the offense, and goes all the way to the hoop, and one free throw coming up. Get this game back to single digits, perhaps. On the court for the Zags, Maud. Hudgman, 6'3", freshman forward from the Netherlands, a Syracuse transfer. Given to the foul line. Givens has struggled this year at the line, 12 for 23, 52%. Waves are 65% on the year, misses that, so it's still a 10-point game. And a whistle out on the far perimeter. Givens will pick up the foul. First of the quarter for Pepperdine. Allie Stedman on the court now. Eve Braslis will come on in. First time Braslis has been in there. Shot blocked by Becky Obima with uh, Tron going to the hoop. Here's Stedman, Stedman pulls up, free throw line extended and hits. Stedman. Allie Stedman with four, two for two on shots. Single digit game. 
Shane Waba's back out there as well. Kaylin Trong. Get at the Hybens free throw line. That's no good. Missed by Kaylee Trong. Rebound Obima. Chance to get even closer. Helena Friend out there. Couple of bounces. No good. Up with it was Brazlis. Rebound Gonzaga. One and done there. Zags up by eight and the ball. High post for Jorgie. Get it left side in the corner. Kaylee Trong thought about the three. And on the left angle for Jorge knocks it down. 6'5", 50 year senior out of Romania. Zaga by 10. Helena Friend, get up to Ali Stedman, calls the play, 11 to shoot. Stedman, the freshman, back door to Friend, has it blocked, but last touch by Verjorge. Out of bounds, the Waves will have five to shoot. Yeah, Verjorge, obvious height advantage there, five inches worth. Obima now will sit. Mimosa back on, baseline right, Waba will inbound. Five to shoot, so you gotta be pretty quick here. Elena Friend, one bounce, this is too much. Well, almost long three there by Stedman. It almost went, but should have been developed a little quicker. Long two, and Waba, well, that kind of worked out. The Waves got a second look. Retain possession, and a nice long two by Jane Waba. Typically not going to shoot from there, but it went in 27 to 19, half of the second quarter gone. And Waba on the other end gets the block. Timeout on the court. We'll take a timeout as well with 4.58 to go before the half. Gonzaga 27, Pepperdine 19 on the WCC Network. Oh, welcome back to Firestone. Sierra Walker just hit a three right out of the timeout on the far wing, and the Zags are back up double digits. The Waves have to stay within striking range, needless to say, which means got to stay at the very least within single digits. See how they finish these four and a half minutes before halftime, and that's not a step in the right direction there. Caught awkwardly on the end line. Waba airmailed it. Looking for Stedman, and now the Waves are going to look for some backcourt pressure. Put on the trap. This worth against LMU is going to be a tougher task tonight against a team that takes much better care of the basketball. Remember, LMU is a team that averaged 22 turnovers a game in conference and couldn't do a thing with the Pepperdine trap. 
Not sure that's going to be the case tonight. Kempton, Waba picked up that foul, by the way, two on the team. A couple of bounces, leaning in, in and out. Tough break there for Sierra Walker. Ball's loose on the floor, and a hell ball will be called. Alternating possession will stay on this side with Gonzaga. Hollingsworth back on for Gonzaga. And Verjorge will sit. Baseline left, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Three-pointer, Salem Bien, no good. This is uh, Bree Salem Bien, I should say. She's uh, in the game, number 35 for the Zags. Three-pointer straight away is good by Eve Brasles, her first points of the game. And the Way's first three tonight, they have struggled from three in recent games. And the Zags get all the way down the court. And nailing a triple in the corner, Sierra Walker, her second straight three ball. Now the Zags are four for eight from distance. Go back up double digits. Down low ball deflected out of bounds. Last touch by Pepperdine. It'll go back to Gonzaga with 3.16 to play. Waba to the bench. Amosa back on. And Malia Bambrick back on. Also on for Gonzaga is Michaela Williams, the Los Angeles Windward High product. In her sophomore season. Ball poked away. Good defense by Amosa. Last touch by Hollingsworth. Waves will get it back, go under three minutes. Uh, Waves still somewhat in striking range here, but again, which way is it gonna go here in the final 250 before half? Stedman, Amosa, swing it right side, Brasless. Dribbling with her left hand, Bambrick, stop the free throw line, left side driving baseline, French, drop it off, good dish to Amosa, almost got it to go, she's fouled as she hits the deck. Two free throws coming up. Good ball work that time by Pepperdine. Friend got the baseline. And then a beautiful drop off. And Helena Friend, don't forget, coming off her career game as well, had eight on Tuesday night. Beautiful dish. As Amosa goes to the free throw line, yet to score in this one. Nayali Amosa, freshman from Modern Day High. Waves are now three of five at the line. Amosa splits the two. Now 10 of 15 on the year at the line is Amosa. 10 point ball game. Kaylee Trong left side to Williams. Mont Hyben setting a pick and a foul will be called. Eve Brasless will pick up her first, and each team with three in the quarter. To the free throw line, Williams looking for her first points of the game. Walker with six, and Kaylee Trong with five for Gonzaga. Actually, the leading scorer is Kempton with eight. Givens with six to lead Pepperdine. Stedman front court. Zags now 35-23, and they're 9 of 10 all of a sudden at the line. Brasless. Couple of bounces. Bambrick. Out on the right angle. Brasless through the lane. Put it up in their left hand. Too long. Rebound to Hybins, and the outlet up ahead to Kaylee Trong. Zags by 12, under two minutes to go before halftime. All by herself, Hollingsworth. Somebody forgot about her, 37 to 23. This is now the biggest lead of the night for Gonzaga. Kristen Dowling, will talk with her at halftime. The head coach, and Stedman gets through the defense and goes to the hole, lays it in. Back to a 12-point difference. Pepperdine would love to get it back to single digits by the break. Remember, this was a single-digit game on this floor last year. Zags got the route up in Spokane, but Pepperdine played very well in this game last year. 
here at Malibu. That's four fouls on the Waves. So Bima back, Givens back. Bambrick also on, Car uh, Kendall Carson back on. Stedman to the bench. Amosa to the bench and Friend also will be out. Rebound Obima. Williams misses on their knees. Get it to Givens. All right, so chance to get it to 9 or 10 here. One ten to go. And a foul by Williams. It's about 35 feet from the hoop. First on Williams, three on the Zags, and they have one more to give. Final 69 seconds. Kendall Carson will inbound down below, front court. Back to Kendall. Defended by O'Connor. Carson, chest pass out to the left wing. Bambrick pulls it out. Under a minute, nine to shoot. Brasliss sets a pick. Bambrick crossover. Bambrick back to Brasliss. A long two. It is short. Weak side rebound. Abby O'Connor lost her footing. And now get to the Kaylee Trong. So now you got about a 16 second difference game clock, shot clock. O'Connor poked away, but that's contact, easy call. Right idea for Obiema, but a lot of contact there. Slow to get up, O'Connor. Well, the problem with that is it puts the Zags back at the line. 33 and a half to go. O'Connor shooting two. And the Zags now 10 of 11 tonight at the free throw line. O'Connor. Not one of their better free throw shooters, actually. As a team, we mentioned they're 78%, number 20 in the country, and number one in the conference. And O'Connor, not really a reason why, 54% on the year, but she does hit two. 39-25. One to the left, Cheyenne Givens, thought about the three, nearly walked up top, Brasless, reverse it out to the right, Bambrick. 16 to shoot, about a two and a half second difference now. Game clock, shot clock. Bambrick. Bambrick starting the drive off the side of the rim, no good. I think she wanted the window, didn't get it. Four seconds to go, Zags can get a shot if they hurry. Kaylee Trong, no good off the window. Throws up about a 25-footer that misses wide, but Gonzaga will take a 14-point lead into the locker room. It matches their biggest lead of the night. And they win that quarter by seven, also won the first quarter by seven. 39-25 at the break. Kristen Dowling coming up at halftime on the WCC Network.
Halftime here at Firestone Fieldhouse, Gonzaga, visiting Pepperdine third-year head coach, Chris Dowling, always good enough to join us. And coach, that is exactly how he drew it up in the final 10 minutes against Loyola Marymount. We've been waiting for that for a long time. We have. Our players did a great job. They finished the game really well. Yeah, and uh, we're you talking about the fourth quarter specifically uh, yesterday in practice in the locker room. And, uh, you know, it was impressive because without your top two scores on the year, didn't play, and um, not only the 24 to 11 fourth quarter in the game's final six points, but doing it on the defensive end with the trap defense that works so well. Yeah, our players had great tenacity on the defensive end. That was the game plan going in. We knew they turned the ball over quite a bit, and they, we didn't think they could handle the trap and the pressing, and, they, and our players did a phenomenal job with it. Yeah, and it started, you started with the trap, LMU couldn't handle it, nor could they handle it in the fourth quarter. And you know what? That that play with 21 seconds to go, denying them the inbounds pass in the front court, an incredible presence of mind the team had, I thought, knowing that LMU didn't have any timeouts left. That was a big uh, turnover. Absolutely. It was a huge turnover. Our, again, our young women, I think, did a great job. Yeah. Uh, the freshman, Mayali Amosa, she backed up her performance in Stockton with another Lights out performance uh, against LMU, double-double, career night. And, you know, I think what's more than, than her numbers was 31 minutes on the court, stayed out of foul trouble until she picked up her third late, but stayed out of foul trouble. And, and again, without the services of uh, your top two scorers, having her out there is huge. Oh, my gosh, she did a great job. She had a huge game. She had a double-double, and she had the offensive rebound putback that actually put us up. So she, she's getting more comfortable each game she plays. She's getting better and better out there. Yeah, and then talk to me about Helena's second career start. Yeah, Helena's doing a good job, too. Same thing. She's getting more comfortable out there, and you can just see it in her game. And, uh, I mean, I think the future is very bright for us with those young women. And, you know, coming off uh, the big win, uh, the team, I would imagine, has to be embracing the opportunity tonight. And talk about that and, and uh, what, what makes Gonzaga such a good team? I know for one thing, they live at the free throw line. They do, and they have four people that score in double digits, so they spread the ball, they share the ball really well. Um, they're a really good team, but I think they share the ball really well. They have good weapons all over the court. Yeah. And, you know, uh, game two of a, of a four-game homestand here, so uh, an opportunity to ride some momentum. And so here we go. This is a, <laughs> this is a big one tonight, and big one's coming up. Absolutely. It's a, it'll be a great game tonight. We're excited to play a good Gonzaga team. Well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. And that was head coach Kristen Dowling joining us at halftime, brought to you by Thomas Hirsch, DDS, where Pepperdine does its dentistry. Second half coming up, Gonzaga and Pepperdine on Wavecast and WCC Network.
Halftime here at Firestone Fieldhouse. Gonzaga wins each of the first two quarters by seven points, and that amounts to a 14-point lead at the break. There you see your leaders for the game. Melody Kempton, eight points. That's a game high, along with four rebounds. Cheyenne Givens and Allie Stedman. Stedman in her return to the lineup, six points. Givens as well with six. And it's a 39-25 Zag lead, scored the first nine points tonight, the Zags did. Pepperdine drew with a nine to eight. Stayed close, within seven in the first quarter, but then it went into, into double digits. Waves had an opportunity to bring it back a couple times late in the first half to within single digits, but Zag also hit a uh, couple of threes there late in the second quarter. Take a look at some uh, first half highlights for Gonzaga. Uh, the Trong sisters got hot. Kaylee hitting one down low. Melody Crempton, two of her. Well, the put back there by uh, Rajoge. And Malia Bambrick. Back in action after missing two games. Stedman hitting a nice right angle jumper. Kendall Carson, a great lob into Becky Obima. Got to see more of that in the second half. The Waves are going to have any shot in the next 20 minutes. Melody Kempton, reigning sixth player of the year in the conference. Hits a straightaway long two. And then thought the Trong sisters were left open a little bit too much in the first half. Gonzaga hit four threes. Kaylee and Kaylin had one apiece. Sierra Walker had a couple of them in the second quarter. Stedman to the hole, taking on some bigger bodies late in the half. And the halftime highlights sponsored by uh, University Credit Union, inviting Pepperdine student, students, alumni, and staff and faculty to open a university checking account. Thank you to University Credit Union for sponsoring Pepperdine basketball halftime 39-25 Gonzaga on the WCC Network. Nobody said it was easy. That's why you shoot 1,000 three-pointers, make 300, study all night, then shoot 1,000 more. Get straight A's. Keep practicing. Be a good friend. Push through it. Make the playoffs. Graduate from Lava. University Credit Union is a proud sponsor of the West Coast Conference. From earning interest to getting a loan, our rates beat the competition because we believe your bank should work as hard as you do.
Halftime here at Firestone. Zags over the waves, 39-25. There is your next game on the schedule. 2 o'clock this Saturday, the 29th, right here at Firestone Fieldhouse, game three of this four-game homestand. Another challenge for the Waves, taking on the Portland Pilots, who was a winner tonight down in San Diego by 13. That's Pepper Nine in Portland, 2 o'clock this Saturday, the 29th, right here at Firestone Fieldhouse. There you see some halftime stats. Zags shooting 46% to Pepper Nine's 40. Zags are plus five on the glass, 18-13. Pepperdine, eight turnovers, and it resulted in 11 Gonzaga points to Pepperdine's five points off Gonzaga's five turnovers. Uh, Zags also with three more threes. Four for nine as opposed to one for eight. Pepperdine basketball to start the second half. Here we go. Cheyenne Givens right to left. In the second half, Givens says, why not take a three and buries it. She'll do that once in a while. And make it an 11-point game. Nice start for Pepperdine to start the third quarter, 39-28. Givens, her sixth three of the year in 24 tries. Not really known for her three ball, but nice start. There's an air ball three on the other end by O'Connor, and that's out of bounds. No touch, and... Waves will get it back. That was just the second three of the game for Pep. Braslow's hit the other one in the first half. Another opportunity to get it back to single digits here. Waba get it to Obima on the court with Givens, Helena Friend, and Mayali Amosa. And a dish. I think Givens has to go up with that. A couple of bodies were on Amosa. Looking for the long pass there, deflected out by Obima getting back transitional defense. Baseline right, Kaylee Tron will inbound. Lob at the Virjoge, get it down low. Kempton up with it, no, but fouled. Two more free throws coming up where the Zags were 11 of 12 at the line in the first half. Moses first, first foul in the first minute for either side. And Kempton swishes the first free throw. Kempton is five for five at the line. 79% are on the year. 41-28. That makes them 13 for 14 tonight. Going to her left, dribb dribbling through the lane. Gibbons, kick out, going to be fouled as she hits the floor. That'll be on Kaylee Trong. First on Kaylee Trong, and the first on Gonzaga. Inbound to Obima, near wing, center to Gibbons. Gibbons driving right side of the lane, high off the window, no good. Waba rebound, put back, no good, but fouled. Now the waves are going to the line, and yet another foul on Kaylee Trong. Back-to-back -back fouls on Kaylee Trong in a seven-second span. Unfortunately for the waves, only her first two of the game. Waba free throw is good. Waba eight for 12 on the season at the line. Make it nine for 13 as Jane Waba has four along with two rebounds, 11 point ball game and the Waves are gonna go with the press. Zags cleared easily. Right side Williams. Williams cut off baseline, Wade Bench wanted to travel. Kaylee Trong straight away three, no good. Givens comes up with it, back the other way. Givens, look it around, and nobody in particular, and Friend will retrieve it in front of the half court line. Waves are gonna have to just try to work it in low, get to the line, and obviously on defense, you gotta fly around out there, much like they did Tuesday night, raise a lot of havoc, pressure. Force some turnovers, off balance, Waba, no good. Ball deflected and taken away by Kaylee Trong. 
Nearly took it away there. Chuang stays in the game in spite of those back-to-back -back early third quarter fouls. For Joe Gay, out to the left side for Williams. The windward high product, right side, Kempton. Near wing, Kaylee Trong, center it, defended by Friend. Five to shoot for Joe Gay, kick it out. Williams driving with two. Williams going to, I don't know if that was a shot or a pass intended to for Joe Gay. Either way, it hits absolutely nothing but the out of bounds area. And it's a shot clock violation, so Waves get it back. Another opportunity to bring it to eight or nine. Coming into the night, the Zags and BYU tied for first, undefeated in the conference. BYU easily won the night to go to 6-0. and oh. The route of Santa Clara, there's an offensive foul. Jane Wabo will pick up her second. And have to avoid these empty trips. Needless to say, here in the second half. Waves back on defense. Williams pulls it out from the corner, centered in front of the half court line to Kaylee Trong. Leading scorer on the year for Gonzaga, held a five in the first half. Ejim back on the court, back to Kaylee Trong. Six to shoot. Kaylee, foul's gonna be called on Waba. I'll tell you, with the shot clock under five, and about, what, 30 or so feet from the hoop, there's just no need for that. You had what you wanted on defense. So Waba, Amosa, and Friend out. The group right now, Givens, Bambrick, Stedman, Obima, and Jayla Rufus Milner. 10 to shoot. Williams to a right crossover defended by Bambrick. And an offensive foul or, no, last touch. They're gonna say it was poked out. But Kaylin Trong hit it last. It'll go to the Waves, getting a stop. Let's take a look here. Yep, last touch right there by Kaylin. It had already gone out. What kind of caught me off guard was when Givens hit it there at the last moment, but it was already out. And yet again, the Waves unforced turnover and a bad pass out to the far sideline. Kendall Carson back on the court. Kaylin straight away to Kempton. Long two does not go off the rim and then the glass. Rebound back the other way. Bambrick driving. Williams from behind pokes it away. Not much communication on that trip. Bambrick's got to be aware somehow of that. Ejim swing it right side to Williams. Out on the near wing, Jayla Rufus Miller playing defense. One bounce dribble for uh, Walker. Swing it left side. Back to Kempton. Kempton. This is very good defense. Jayla on Williams. Split the defense up with it, no good. And the Waves get another stop. Waves are getting stops. You got to take advantage on the other end. Zone defense for Gonzaga, going to the right, Kendall Carson, popping out Jayla. Couple of bounces, handed off to Allie Stedman. Stedman, left angle shot, pull up and hit. She can hit those, absolutely. Allie Stedman coming in as the leading scorer on Pepperdine, the only double digit scorer on the year at 11 and a half a game, and there's a foul. As the Waves pulled it within single digits, Stedman picks up the foul. Behind the three-point line, Alley's second and now four on Pepperdine. He's still got half the quarter to play. Salenbein back on, Verjoge back on for Gonzaga. Trong goes to her left, Kaylin Trong. Center it to Ejim. Ejim, lob it out to the right. 
Goes to O'Connor, swing it left side, 10 to shoot for Gonzaga. Salenbein, high post. Ejim with four, Ejim defended by Jayla. Salenbein, and as the shot clock expires, going to be bumped hard by Obima. Salenbein got bad deal there hitting the deck very hard and she appears to be okay but right when the look at that one on the shot clock time out on the floor 439 to go and the ways are within single digits at least for the moment we'll step aside on the WCC network Well, Obima picked up that foul. Tough luck for the Waves with one second on the shot clock. And Salenbein, slow to get up, got up okay, and draws some free throws out of it. Gets the first free throw. Gonzaga, with this free throw, would be 15 of 16 at the line tonight, and she gets two. 43-32. First two points for Salenbein off the bench. Kendall Carson goes to her right. Jayla Rufus Milner walks with it. The Zags only have four points in this quarter. We've played more than five and a half minutes. Problem is, the Waves only have seven, and there's been quite a few empty trips. Trying to, the opportunity presented itself to really dig in to the Gonzaga lead. O'Connor comes around a pick, pulls up about 13 feet away and knocks it down, and now the lead goes up to 13. And to this point, the Zags have only lost one point off their halftime lead and get a turnover there. Two on one the other way. Right side, Salenbein locked down, put up a three, no good. And a foul will be called. That's on the Bulldogs. Abby O'Connor picks it up. Two on O'Connor, three on Gonzaga. The Waves have been over the limit now. Still just about four minutes to go in the quarter. Kendall Carson. Coming out is Obima. Waves need to get something going offensively. They are right around this stage of the ball game as well on Tuesday night and really got us going in the fourth quarter so remember who you're playing tonight as opposed to who you were playing on Tuesday. Front court Kalen Trong Trong goes to her right picked up by Stedman wide open there's nobody within 10 feet of Hollingsworth 16 point ball game biggest of the night
foul will be called. The Zags were sitting with just four points in this quarter in the first six minutes. You didn't necessarily think that the Zags would have their lead extended to 16 uh, by this point. And the Waves have had too many empty trips offensively. 3.02 to go underneath. Bambrick inbound to Amosa. Get it to Carson. 48-32 now. Biggest lead of 16. Zags now with the last seven. Carson goes to her left. And another unforced turnover. I don't know what Carson's looking at. Amosa's in the middle of the key. And she one-arms it. And uh, nobody I know of would have gotten that. This team's got some length, not that much length, the Waves. Foul away from the ball on the Waves. That's on Carson, two on Kendall. Waves have long since been over the limit with 2.38 to go in the third. Lux Bus America, the exclusive bus transportation partner of Pepperdine Athletics. Lux Bus America covering more ground and more places. As the Zags continue to live at the free throw line, 16 of 17, 16 of 18 on the rimmer there, in and out. Still having a fantastic night at the strike. 49-32, biggest lead of 17, waves with it, back door to Jayla, got the layup. Nice play there. Cheyenne Givens with the assist, nine points and two assists for Cheyenne. Rufus Milner now with six. Hollingsworth left alone again. They're not gonna miss much when you leave them alone. Gonzaga now with six threes tonight and 14 tries. Ball stays with the waves on last touch underneath by Gonzaga. 158 to go in the third. Zag's biggest lead of 18. Pepperdine will be at Gonzaga on February 24th. That'll be part of a season-ending three-game road trip to finish the regular season. Into Bambrick, double team. Nice help defense by Hollingsworth, who really served the purpose tonight for the Zags. Off the bench. Kalen Trong to the right. Hollingsworth again. Somebody should think about getting on number 12 at some point. Not sure how, he, how she's that wide open. Several times in succession. Hollingsworth, get a load of this, is now Gonzaga's leading score. She's hit all three of her threes in the quarter. 20 point ball game. Right corner, Stedman for three, that's no good. Kempton comes up with a rebound. Zags have it with 102 to go, right side. Kaylin Trong driving to the lane, no good. Gets the ball back. Hollingsworth underneath, lays it in. Hollingsworth with 13. And 11 have come in the quarter. Timeout Pepperdine with 51.7 to go as Gonzaga is on a 16-2 run. 8-0 in the last 118, and they have the biggest lead of the night of 22. And it's, uh, you know, I'm a little bit surprised at the trend of this quarter. The Waves had everything they wanted on the defensive end. And again, had limited the Zags as just four points in the first six minutes or so of the quarter. And how fast lightning can strike. Take a look at Melody Kempton here. And at times, you know, it's been a little bit of an issue dealing with their size, but that hasn't been the problem tonight. Much of the night, first half and into the third quarter the waves were within striking distance got it to within 41 32 and then uh, what's really caught up to Pepperdine obviously are the empty trips down the court offensively 
and then the defensive breakdowns on the other end. And the defensive breakdowns, frankly, have come out of nowhere because that, that has gone completely against the way the week has gone, right? Had a beautiful night defensively on Tuesday. I would say things were working better than you'd, you'd like uh, for most of the night tonight. First half, very reasonable. First six minutes, wonderful tonight in the third quarter. And then you had the, the uh, breakdowns. So here you are, Gonzaga. You get a breakdown against a team like this, receiving votes in the top 25 poll, you're gonna pay for it. And Gonzaga has pulled away. 56-34, Malia Bambrick front court driving. A little 360 move, 13 footer does not go. And the star of the third quarter, Hollingsworth comes up with it on the rebound, 20 seconds to go. In the third, shot clock off. Hollingsworth out to the left side. In the ball game for Gonzaga is Esther Little, a 6'2 freshman guard from England. First appearance tonight. Coach Fortier has played 13 players. 14 were available tonight. Six seconds to go. Stedman with the steal, but they actually got the double dribble first. The Waves will get it with five seconds. That three-quarter court ball will be mounted. Givens with one. Givens as time expires, no good. I don't know if that would have counted. It was pretty close. Doesn't go anyway. And Gonzaga once led at 41-32 about four minutes ago. Close on a 15-2 run in the third and extend out to a 56-34 lead ten minutes to go on the WCC Network. Now, 10 minutes to go here at Firestone Fieldhouse. Thank you to all our sponsors. The 21-22 Pepperdine Women's Basketball Season, University Credit Union, Lux Bus, Ticket Smarter. The parking spot. And by Chick-fil-A. And Coca-Cola. Part of the fourth quarter here with the Zags up by 22. Dukes of Malibu, proud sponsor. And here we go in the final 10 minutes. The score was 41-32 with 4.39 to go in the third. And remember that play by Salenbein? She drove to the hoop with one second on the shot clock. Obima hit her. The Waves thought they were going to get a stop on a shot clock violation. Salenbein hit the deck hard. Got two free throws out of it. Bailed out with one tick on the shot clock. And that completely opened the floodgates. 15 to 2 run from that point on. Pepperdine's first trip down in the fourth quarter. Shane Waba to start the fourth. Left angle. And a reverse layup. No good. Ball volleyballs all the way back out to Helena Friend. Driving Givens laid up no good. Ball tip. Last touch, I believe, by Hybens. Yeah, wave basketball. Jayla Rufus Miller back on, Amosa off. Well, after back-to-back -back career games for Mayali Amosa, just hasn't been there tonight. Waves in general have struggled offensively. Obima, excuse me, uh, Waba, 
Throw it up just off the low block. Countered and one. Lava with six. And Hybens picks up the foul. So Waba looking for her seventh point. She got it. Waba with seven, but I'll tell you, the Waves needed more out of Becky Obima tonight. Obima with the three points and three rebounds and has that many fouls, three. Almost a head scratcher if you think about it, that the Waves were able to have the game into single digits with four and change to go in the third quarter with Obima a non-factor tonight. Shot clock violation as Hybens runs out of shot clock. Pepper nine will get it back. Rebounding tonight, 23 apiece. Cheyenne Givens in the front court. Givens in the middle of the key. Up with it, no good. Up against some bigger bodies. Kind of forced that one. Williams on the other end. No good. Ball tipped out. Last touch by Friend. It'll go back to the Zags. Verjoge back on. Now the Zags have uh, outscored the Waves 19 to 5 in the points off turnovers. It was 11 to 5 at halftime, so started to take a toll even more there in the third quarter. Left side, Waba fire a three, no good short. Jayla with the long offensive rebound, bodies on the floor, and a hell ball. Still like to see the Waves play a nice fourth quarter here with the ball game probably out of reach, but you know there's still an opportunity here in seven minutes and 50 seconds to have a nice fourth quarter like you did on Tuesday. Pressure the ball and you never know what can happen, but still. Fourth quarter's been on the undoing for much of the year, and it was wonderful to see what happened on Tuesday night. Underneath, no good by Jayla. Back the other way, Gonzaga. Out to the right side, this is Williams. Bullet pass down low, Ejim, fake right turn left. Up with it, may have been partially blocked there by Jayla. Gonzaga retains possession, long three-pointer, no good by Kaylee Trong. Laba comes up with it. Waves looking to push it here. Not a whole heck of a lot of time to waste. Kendall Carson, Waba, or excuse me, Obima put it up no good. Jayla, rebound. Kick it out, Waba, good look for three. She can hit those and she hits that one. Jane Waba's in double digits with 10. 56-40, she just keep plugging away. You got 6.43 to Play some solid basketball. Strong, bullet pass down low to Ejim, kick it out Williams, baseline. Oh, Carson let her go baseline, but Obima with the block, an outstanding play. Wow. Wobba in the front court, one on one there, up with it, no good. Oh, Wobba, gotta get that one, one on one. And a foul will be called in the back court. Jane Waba picks up the foul. First foul of the quarter. And Waba will pick up her fourth. You know, it might be worth, yeah, I think uh, Coach Dowling's going to leave her out there. I was going to say it might be worth leaving her out there. You're down 16. Waba's been playing well. Obama, uh, Becky Obama's going to the bench. Stedman's on there. Stedman's back out there with Eve Brasless and Amosa as well. Layup no good. Zags will get a second chance. Wow.
Walker, right side it goes to Kalen Trong. Long, deep three, Walker, no good. And a long rebound, Spedman comes up with it. Spedman, oh boy, again, right in the passing lane there. Trong, pull up for three, that's good. That's been going on too much tonight. Three more points off another Pepperdine turnover. Twenty-two to five off turnovers tonight. Zags with a big edge. Nice feet there, and Carson gets it to go. About a ten-footer, 59-42. Approaching the halfway mark of the fourth quarter. Left open for three, and Kalen Trong knocks it down. It's back up to twenty. A little bit slow, a step slow on the rotation. And I'll tell you, most of these threes by Gonzaga tonight, uncontested. Stedman, long two, no good. Strong side rebound for Gonzaga's Sierra Walker. Ball kicked out to Kaylee Trong. I think the waves have been very concerned with the en entries into Kempton and and uh, Urjoge, the bigger bodies, but gotta defend that three. Gonzaga's triple ball tonight and has been big. They've hit eight of them. Timeout, Zags by 20 on the WCC Network. Four twenty-nine to go in the fourth quarter. Gonzaga has it under control, 62-42, as we go to our Ticket Smarter Smart Play of the game. And it's going to be Jane Waba. Off the miss there by Obima. Rufus Miller with the rebound. And Jane Waba hits her second three-pointer of the season in nine tries. That is our Ticket Smarter Smart Player or Smart Play of the game. Back to the action here. Fade away to the baseline. Spedman misses, and the Zags come up with it. Ball game now thoroughly under control for the Gonzaga Bulldogs, who will go to 6-0 in the conference, tied with BYU for first place. Kempton misses an in-and-out shot down low, and the Waves have it. A reminder, 2 o'clock tip-off on Saturday. This Saturday, the 29th, game three of the homestand against the Portland Pilots. Very winnable game, right side, and Jane Waba hits another one from the far wing. Her third three of the year, her second in the last minute. Wow. Jane Waba's got 13 to lead the waves. She's been playing with four fouls, and obviously why not with this deficit? Not to have her. She'll sit now. Malia Bambrick will be on the court. Bambrick has not scored tonight. She's 0 for 5 from the floor. First game back in three ball games. Zag score down below. 64 to 45. Runner is no good by Kendall Carson. Back the other way. 
Left corner three and no good. That one missed by Salem Bine. Third look at it now for Gonzaga. Jalen Trong. Trong underneath. Kempton there for the layup. Front court, uh, Kendall Carson. Home stand will conclude Monday night, 7 o'clock against St. Mary's. That'll be a makeup game. Stedman down low. That's an assist for Kendall Carson. Third assist tonight for Carson. 66 47. Salem Bine up top. Walker out to the left. It goes to Kalen Trung. Trung. Pressure defense there, and a foul will be called. Malia Mosa. Mosa picks it up. Mosa's had a rough night on the heels of back-to-back -back career games. One point for her. That was her second foul. Limited to just three rebounds as well. Waba and Stedman, the double-digit scores tonight, 13 and 10, respectively. 14 points for Kempton, that's a game high. 12 for Hollingsworth, 11 for uh, Kaylin Trong, right at her season average. Waves force a turnover there, exactly two minutes to go in this one. Again, Portland, a 13-point winner at San Diego. When the pilots come here on Saturday, they'll be three and two in the WCC and in third place, right behind the duo of Gonzaga and BYU. Obima scores. Make it 66-49, Obima with five. But needed more out of her tonight, no question. Bambrick a near steal. Hollingsworth. Looking for a 4-3. That time contested. Misses short. Had three threes in the third quarter alone. Bambrick looking to get off the zero. And she does. Her first points of the game. Malia Bambrick. Got to back, go back a few games. Last time Malia Bambrick scored. Missed the LMU game. Missed the Pacific game. And was 0 for her first five tonight. She'll pick up a foul there. Under a minute. Well, the Waves still fighting. No question about that. A lot of fight in the Waves tonight, particularly on the defensive end again. Just had to take better advantage on the offensive end. Had to take better care of the ball tonight. Zags really dominated this game off the turnovers. Ball stays with Gonzaga with 47 to go. Gonzaga plus 15 points, 22 to 7 on the points off turnovers tonight. Got a 14 point lead on the scoreboard. For four to shoot. O'Connor, 360 move, pull up 13 feet, no good. Waves with it. About a five second difference, game clock, shot clock, whistle blows. And I believe a foul, yep. It's on Michaela Williams. Three on the Zags, 30 seconds to play. Gonzaga will head to San Diego for a Saturday afternoon game. So Gonzaga, right at their scoring average, basically, they get 68 a game, they're 66 tonight. Thought the Waves played a very admirable game defensively again. Bambrick on their knees scores, 66-54. The Waves are eight points under their season average of 62. And the final score will be 66-54. The Waves fought hard tonight. Just some mistakes offensively. You'd have had even more of an interesting game, but love the effort, love the direction. And the Waves 
go to 5-9 and nine overall, 1-4 and four in the conference. Gonzaga stays unbeaten in the conference, now 6-0 and oh and 15-4 and four overall. We'll be back to wrap it up on the WCC Network. Nobody said it was easy. That's why you shoot 1,000 three-pointers, make 300, study all night, then shoot 1,000 more. Get straight A's. Keep practicing. Be a good friend. Push through it. Make the playoffs. Graduate from love. University Credit Union is a proud sponsor of the West Coast Conference. From earning interest to getting a loan, our rates beat the competition because we believe your bank should work as hard as you do. It's all over in Firestone Fieldhouse. Gonzaga wins it 66-54 to 54 over the waves. A lot of nice things tonight for Pepperdine. Just got away in the final four minutes of the third quarter after the waves had pulled it within single digits. At that point, 41-32, but then the Zags took over. Eventually got the game up to 20. At 62-42, the waves in the last few minutes closed on a 9-0 run, actually. In the last 226, made their last four shots and lost it by 12. Jane Wabe hit two threes tonight, finished at 13. Allie Stedman with 10. Melody Kempton was the game high score with 14 points and grabbed six rebounds. As the Zags stay unbeaten in the conference and remain tied for first place. A lot of nice things tonight. Cheyenne Givens hitting a triple. Allie Stedman back in action after missing the LMU game, the leading scorer on the year for Pepperdine. Getting involved. But, uh, well, this is one thing that hurt tonight in the third quarter. Number 12 off the bench, Hollingsworth. And this is when you know a team is outstanding. When somebody other than what, other than a star player beats you. And tonight the Wiz got beat badly by number 12 off the bench, Hollingsworth, who hit three triples in the third quarter and finished in double-digit scoring with 12. Jane Waba hit two of her three threes on the year in about a minute span in that fourth quarter. With the game out of reach here. Malia Bambrick finally got on the board after not playing the last couple of games. And then drove to the hoop there late in the game in the final 17 seconds to provide the 53rd and 54th points for Pepperdine tonight. So that'll do it for us. Thank you to Game On Entertainment. Again tonight, we'll talk to you Saturday. My name is Darren Preston. The final score, Gonzaga 66, Pepperdine 54. Saturday at 2 o'clock, University of Portland rolls into Firestone Fieldhouse. This has been Pepperdine Basketball on Wavecast and WCC Network. Have a great night, everybody. <laughs>